Seems like we are live. So, kick ass. All right, let me just uh, double check this real quick. And uh, looks like, boom, we are on. So, cool, cool. Well, yeah, what is up, everybody? Uh, welcome to today's episode. I'm uh, going to be talking about some pretty cool things. Um, I know see oops there we go uh, I know a lot of people have been pretty interested in the whole um, yeah, we've seen a lot of questions come about recently as far as what exactly makes a plant flower so I want to just kind of jump on today talk a little bit about the flowering cycle or the light cycle that you should be having to make your plants flower so um, you know cannabis is a photosensitive plant which means that it's going to um, yeah, it's basically going to flower as the light cycle changes, right? So, like I said, uh, photosensitive plant. So basically, um, there are two different light cycles that I like to use, right? And this is uh, something that everybody should do, uh, is, unless you're growing outdoors. So outdoors is a little different. But basically, when a plant is growing outdoors, what's going to happen is it's going to... Um, you know, as it's growing outdoors, the days start to get shorter, right? During your growing cycle, as the winter starts kind of coming up, right? So um, things start basically, you know, the days start getting shorter and the plant slowly starts to flower. Now, outdoors, this takes a really long time, right? Um, and basically what happens is as the days get shorter, the plant starts producing what's called florigen. Uh, and florigen is the hormone that basically makes it flower. So outdoors, the days start getting shorter, the plant does start to flower, right? And it does that over the whole uh, outdoor growing season. And then you harvest at the end. So outdoor plants get a lot bigger because the days slowly get shorter. Well, in an indoor environment, what we're going to do is we're basically going to artificially... Um, artificially make the plant flower. We're going to force it to flower. And the way you do that is by um, basically shortening your light cycle, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go from like 18 hours of light or 24 hours of light, which would be your vegetative state of growth, into flowering where you'll drop it to 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness. Now, the thing I want to kind of point out is that, um, you know, the the 12 hours of light is not what is going to make this thing flower, right? It's the 12 hours of darkness that makes your plant flower. So when you're flowering indoors, it's very, very important to make sure that you do not have any light leaks. That's extremely important, right? Um, so, so very, very important to make sure that you don't have any light leaks. You don't want any light getting into your... Um, uh, into your flower room while your plant is flowering because that could cause it to hermaphrodite, right? Um, and that could be, you know, an issue there, right? So just something to kind of, uh, you know, keep in mind there. So essentially, basically what I wanted to talk about was the whole flowering of the life or the, the, the flowering light cycle, because I've seen a lot of people ask that. So like in a nutshell, basically a uh, vegetative state and flowering state of your plant, right? So veg is when it's just growing um, it's just going to be growing like plant material. It's going to be growing stems and leaves. No flowers are going to be produced. That's not going to happen. Um, so basically what happens is, you know, that particular part of the plant's life cycle is going to be 18 hours of light and 12 hours. <laughs> that's not what I meant. 18 hours of light and six hours of darkness or 24 hours of light and zero hours of darkness, anywhere in between there, right? Then once you flip it into flowering, once your plants are big enough, and it is important to keep in mind that as your plant starts getting, um, as it goes into flower, it's going to stretch. It's going to get really, really big, right? So um, basically, it's going to start stretching and double, maybe even triple in size, depending on what type of plant you are growing. Right. So um, that's something to kind of keep in mind there. Uh, very important to to uh, pay attention to is, you know, making sure your plant is not too big before you flip it into flowering, because if it is, you're going to have some issues there. Right. So 
um, you know, just something to keep in mind. And in addition to that, uh, once you, once you do flip, you're going to change your light to 12 hours on, 12 hours off. Now they just need the 12 hours off. I know that um, you know I've seen some weird light cycles that people have done before where they um, basically give it 12 hours of darkness and then they do like you know eight hours of light and then another 12 hours of darkness just to kind of trick the plant into flowering quicker. Um, I've, I've heard good and bad things about that. I've never personally tried it um, because I've always just gone with the one and one thing, right? Um, or sorry, the one on one, the twelve and twelve. I mean, um, and that's kind of what I've always done there. So, um, yeah, that's that's essentially your light cycle of your plant, um, and how all of that works. So uh, you know, like I said, veg and flower. And you're basically going to use a timer to set your lights to the correct time. And once they're big enough, you're going to flip them into flower. And depending on what type of, um, you know, depending on what uh, what type of plant you're growing, it's going to take, you know, I'd say anywhere from 8 to 10, maybe 12 weeks to flower. Um, some of my strains, or most of mine, take about 9 weeks from the time we flip them to 12 hours and 12 hours. So... Um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. That's about it for me on this one. So, um, you know, we'll have some more cool videos coming out shortly. Um, you know, kind of running a little bit short on time due to the holidays coming up and, uh, having to get everything done before Thursday. So, um, that's why this live video is just kind of like this short, random, and, uh, there's something people have been asking about. So I wanted to do that. So, uh, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching everybody. Uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe, please. And, um, we'll be doing a really cool product review, uh, next week. I'm actually, uh, as soon as I'm done with this video, going to be busting this thing open. Uh, it's the X vape Vista. We actually have it for sale uh, in our store. This thing's basically a portable e-nail and dab rig. So as soon as I, uh, hang this call up or hang this uh this video up i'm gonna load that thing up we got some uh some fresh new shatter that um a buddy of mine made out of some of our um some of our trim which i'm pretty stoked on you can actually pretty much see through that it smells great this is mostly recon a little bit of king's kush mixed into it um but yeah we're gonna be i'm gonna be smoking on this so pretty stoked on that and i am going to uh call it a night over here and run on over to the garden where i'm going to start staking everything up because uh, they're all starting to get a little bit bigger i think we're in week three of flower somewhere around there uh and they're gonna i'm basically gonna stake them out so they open up and my canopy is a lot more level so that's it for this one thanks for watching bye for now